Oh dear. Oh dear me. I've lost front wheel drive. Anyway, I have some investigating to do. Right. Okay. Let's see what's wrong with it this time. Hello, how's it going? Welcome back. This is my FTX Lemon and it broke yesterday. Again. To be fair, it didn't break break. It wasn't as a result of an impact. Well, it might have been. As Rich rightly pointed out, watching the video back, it's difficult to tell because if you slow a video down to see exactly when something happened, the frames get stretched. So if you've only got so many frames, say you're recording 60 frames per second, you start stretching that out, the frame starts to stretch out and um, then you get a really weird ghosting effect. So it's difficult to, to uh, especially when something's fast, like move, fast moving like an RC car. So it's difficult to see exactly when it happened. But this, this right here, right, see that? May well have happened when I hit that rock at the top of the hill, as Rich rightly pointed out. I don't know, it's hard to tell. No, oh, come on. I have not had a look at this. this is the first tip. What was that? Okay, get off. Right. That was a, st a large stone. So, yeah, this, this has been used three times. Look at the state of that. I mean, look at it. Three times. It was a nice paint job, too. Anyway, so two things happened yesterday. That, which I'm strongly suspecting is a bent rear axle, which is annoying because these two pieces, both sides, two piece, were brand new, used once. That was the first time they were being used and that. So we'll see. The front is a little bit more difficult. Um, I lost front wheel drive, the diff is fine. Um, a couple of you rightly suggested the grub screw in there in the drive cup which is you know a very common culprit that's why i'm the matthews outlaw however i'm not entirely sure because before i lost front wheel drive there was grind 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 rattle 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 then stop and also if i try and if i try and move on the front wheels it goes so far and then it stops it jams jam jam could be the grub screw still but i don't know uh no, because it, it is moving that front drive shaft. The front drive shaft is moving. So, I don't know. What we'll do, first of all, is ascertain if this is the rear axle that's to blame for the rear one, because I think that'll be the easier fix, the easier diagnosis. Diagnosis. then move that out of the way let's have a look <laughs> yeah that's the axle with the movement in that you see it wobbly axle now rich also said that he managed to beef his up sleeving it with some steel tubing so i'll need to get the details off him or do some more searching online. Maybe there's some sort of beef tube type deal for the outlaw. I don't think there is, but to be honest, I haven't looked, so there might be. Um, I should have really taken the hex uh, grub screw off first. Is, is it? Oh wait, is there, is there one on this? Yeah, there is. Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. It seemed awfully, you know, a bit of a coincidence that there is a bent axle on this side and it is this side that hit that rock. Um, I might have just been a bit unlucky with that. I mean I crashed it but I didn't it wasn't a hard impact but this is an FTX outlaw so uh, yeah it doesn't really matter if it's a hard impact or not. Oh please tell me please tell me I don't, I don't need a flathead to prize this off do I? Just be nice just be nice to me. Come on come on Yeah, we're good. We're good. Stop rolling backwards. Take the pin out. Pin is 
not entirely straight, but it's straight enough for government work. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. Yep, bent axle. Actually, it's just near the end. I mean, the rest of it's fine, really. I mean, it's slightly bent there, about to about, to about there. The rest of it's spot on, but that's it. It is bent. I do need another rear axle and try not to hit a rock. I don't think I can really blame the truck for that. Yes, it wasn't much of an impact, but it was an impact. Um, so I could bend that straight, but they're cheap parts and it'll never be completely true again. So you can see that on the table there. That is not ideal. So that's that's good. Right, that was an easy diagnosis. New axle. Another thing I will need to replace is this anti-roll bar, this sway bar. Um, you might, you won't be able to see if the sway bar is bent on the camera, I don't think, but you will be able to see that these two sway bar links are not parallel, the two blue ones. See there, that one's kinked out at the side, that one's actually kinked in. So this one's leaning slightly in and this one's more out. But they're supposed to be straight and parallel, but they're not. That's because the sway bar has bent down that way on this side and quite considerably up that way on this side. Um, I've already straightened it once, but I, you know, once it's bent, I can't really get it true again. So I will also get a new sway bar. Now, some of you have been pointing out that this thing is such a lemon and such a, well, money pit's the wrong word because the parts are so cheap that it takes a long time before it becomes a money pit, but um, a liability that I should just cut my losses and buy something else. But I'll be honest with you, after all this time, I've become rather fond of it, <laughs> really. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. I do like modifying and upgrading RCs, so that's possibly part of it. But um, when it's fun, especially on that loose surface I was running on, that sand and gravel quarry, it was great fun. Really, really, really good. So um, in the meantime, I'm going to hold on to it, I think. I'm just checking the front end for any other damage. Um, I don't see anything else. No broken shock mounts or wishbones or steering Ackerman links or anything like that. It looks all pretty good. But now, what on earth caused this? Like I say, diff is fine. But if I'm moving this forward and backwards, it is, I mean, that drive cup is knackered. I can see it now. It's, it's the drive pin from the, from the drive shaft is, is worn out the drive cup really badly. I used to get that's quite common with RCs, especially cheap ones, especially ones running a lot of power. You know, this one, the Foreign Outlaw, it's pretty powerful. There's a three and a half thousand KV brushless system running two cell, uh, and it has done since the second ever shot of it. I mean, I, I ran it once brushed and that was it. Um, I'll take the battery bar off or the battery tray off so we can get access below and see if we can see what's going on. Out of the way. I don't think you'll still be able to see in there into that drive cup. I don't think so, but it's a mess. It is a mess. Um, and I don't think it's the grub screw because the, no, there's 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 a strong one to one relationship between the drive cup spinning and the drive shaft, the center shaft spinning. There's no loss there. So this jamming. It's either coming from the front diff, the ring and pinion gears maybe, or the gearbox here. Let's have a look at this. Again, the drive cup on this side is a bit worn, not as bad as the... F so this one here, not as bad as that one. So that one's not as bad as that one, but it's still working. And it's still a bit knackered, but... Hang on. I wonder if the, the it's quite a, they're quite hefty grub screws. I wonder if the grub screw on this one, this drive cup, has worked its way out to the point where it's actually, as the cup rotates, it's obviously on it, it rotates, it's actually hitting the chassis or the motor on its way around because it looks a bit dented in and it does look a bit proud of where it should be. So let's unplug these motor wires and I will remove the top deck and see if I can axe it. 
in a minute. No, it's fine. I thought the uh, I thought the gearbox casing was split, but it's not. It's not really. I suppose it's not really a gearbox casing. It's it's a spur cover. It's a spur cover essentially. Um, but it is kind of the gearbox in this truck as well with a split drive. Let's get this all off and see what we can see. All right. Trying to lose the screws there. Stick that there. And let's see. Can you see it now? Can you see that in there? As I'm turning. Let's have a look. So if I turn these wheels together, no, I can't turn it that way. Turn it that way and it stops. Turn it that way and it stops. Can you see? I think that's hitting, hitting the motor. That's exactly what's happened. So that grub screw there, see that? in that drive cup has worked its way out and it's still got connection but it's actually smacking into the, the motor itself and the can has a gouge in it now. Now I could easily just, uh, I wonder if that, is there enough? I could easily just put that back in and call it a day. I, I, the reason I suspected it was hitting the can in the first place or hitting something, hitting the motor, hitting the chassis was because the grub screw on the end, at the hex end there, is a little bit caved in. So it, it seems to be having an impact from something. But, I want to, I could easily fix it now, but I want to be able to show off what's happened. Uh, and to do that, I'll need to just remove it all. So let's have a look. Can you see the state of, I see, look, let's have a look. It's now free. So that's exactly what it was. Exactly what it was. That grub screw has come loose and smack into the motor. But can you see the state of that drive cup, the front one? Can you see the state of it? Let's see if I can get it on camera. Look at the state of it. It's so knackered. <laughs> so I'll get new drive cups anyway. Um, so there's little point in me reassembling the truck as it is. So let me take the motor out and I'll show you the damage. All right, taking the spark cover off. You know what's quite amazing is these FDX outlaws, and actually most FDXs, are notorious for having really weak spur and pinion gears and really prone to stripping, even under standard brushed power and nickel metal hydrides. This has been running for about, what, four years, five years, almost entirely brushless, minus the first ever run. And they're still, I mean, they're still original. The pinion is looking ever so slightly, well, it's actually not ever so slightly. The pinion is looking too sharp now. The teeth have sort of shark finned, you know what I mean? Um, for those who don't know, the pinion is supposed to have gears that are that shape. And over time, they sort of bias to one side because it's always running in the same direction. Or mostly, I mean, forward is not only you know, 99% of the use is forward, but also it's got more power forward. Um, so the gears are never even anymore. They're sort of carved away on one side and they kind of resemble shark fins. Um, and the, the, the brass pinions on these are, are, are terrible. Um, so the pinion is, yeah, it's not great. And the spur as a result isn't great either. So RW Racing makes some really nice upgrades. Um, it's not actually, utterly required right now because because it's still running fine and it's not that loud, but I will get some replacements as well. So, and you can see here, I mean, look at the pinion. Can you see that? You see the teeth on that? That's not nice. Uh, and you can see here, the gouge on the can. That's the gouge of the can. So that is where the grub screw has been smacking off the motor. Um, there's probably a mark on it on the other side as well but it's not nearly as pronounced because that's what, it's obviously been working its way loose and, and shaving by it every rotation and then it got worse and worse, worse. hence why I heard a sort of rattle was going doof, 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 doof. and then eventually it got so much that it stopped it full dead. But it hasn't pierced through the can, so this motor structurally is still spot on, it's perfect, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, probably explain why the cogging has gotten a lot worse in this car. Right, right. Okay. when you're giving it partial throttle because there's <laughs> because it was driving against its own motor can but anyway 
Um, so I'll give that a bit of a clean. I will place the pinion. Here's the spur. Let me just. Oh, I would need, need to um, unscrew that. Oh well, I'll do that anyway because the spur will be getting replaced. Pull that one out. I said, did I need to take that off? Maybe not. Maybe I didn't need to take that off. I've never had to work on this part of this car before. It's the metal upgrade drive shaft from FDX. Um, a lot of people have been moaning about the quality of these, saying that the plastic ones are stronger and that the metal ones fall apart. I haven't found that at all. I mean, I've been running this for years. Yes, the grub screws were working the way you loose and they were falling apart, but once I used some pretty decent quality thread lock, um, it was being completely reliable. So, um, yeah. Let's see. I can persuade some of these bearings to release because they've been on there a long time. There we go. Oh, that bearing has collapsed. Ah, it's the shield come off. What's the bearing like? Still pretty smooth. Oh wait, no, that's just a... Is that a shield? No, that's not a shield. That's just a washer. Fine. That's fine. It's just a washer. No problem. Washer on the end of that. Anyway, the point is... The point is, here's the spur. You can see the teeth are not great anymore, but they're a lot better than the pinion still. But as the pinion gets worse, so does the spur, and the whole thing gets louder, and eventually it stops turning. Yes. Drive cup on the motor end. You see, it's worn. They're always worn on one side because it's forward motion. The forward is always smacking it on one side, reverse the other, but you very rarely use reverse, and Reverse has way less torque going through it, way less power going through it. This drive shaft is fine, nothing wrong with that at all, I can reuse that. And this cup, this drive cup, which is the, which was the main suspicion, it's usually the culprit, it's the thing that went wrong in Matthew's car, and what I suspected was the culprit on this one, but it wasn't the case. So that's the grub screw from that one, and um, the grub screw in this one's fine. It hasn't worked loose, at least I don't think so. Uh, again, a little bit of thread lock, and we'll be laughing with that one. Let's see if I can get this off. Come on. Come on. It's no longer original shape, so it might resist a little bit. I am going to have to get a flat head, am I? Can't even get behind it. Can't even get behind it with a flathead, so this drive cup's ruined anyway, so let's just try and prise it off. Oh, come on. Prising off against FTX plastics. That's going to go well. Come on, can I get the screwdriver behind it now? Come on, you. Yes, shifting, it's shifting. Come on. Get up a fight. There we go. Oh, that was an ordeal. Right. See that? There's the condition of that drive cup. It is knackered. Very, very much knackered. If you look at the other side, it's almost brand spanking new. It's taken a lot of punishment over the years that has. So, you were right, you lot who guessed that a uh, grub screw has worked as well as. But I bet you weren't guessing that it worked it was way loose to the point it was smacking into the motor can and blocking its rotation. Blocking the rotation of the drive cup, therefore blocking the rotation of the drive shaft, therefore the motor wasn't turning it. The motor doesn't sound fantastic if I'm honest. But I have had to rescue this motor once before. It's supposed to be waterproof, it's more sort of splash proof, and after I used this through a few puddles, it actually seized solid and I had to work it free. And unfortunately, the screws on this, it's Gull RC is cheap, but I like Gull RC. I think they're, they're as far as really cheap brushless systems go, I think they're the best of them. Um, yeah, the screws are cheese soft, so I can't get this off anymore. I mean, they're absolutely rounded off. So this motor's here, 
as it is forever now and if it ever fails and he's rebuilt as it is game over lovely right so what's the shopping list shopping list is new axle new sway bar new drive cups new spur new pinion i think we're good after that i can see that there's bronze bushings in the steering rather than bearings on this it really doesn't matter this thing doesn't handle particularly well um it's a solid axle truck they tend to roll over it's not that accurately built so there's lots of movement and slop and everything a slop in each part of the steering assembly um i'm not going to fuss over some bearings or some bronze bushings in the steering there but overall it's not bad it's not bad at all um it could have been catastrophic with an ftx failing it could have been the differentials or whatever, but no, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it won't cost much to fix and it won't take long as so long as things are in stock. It won't take long to fix it either. So, perfect. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you later.